Hi, choosing yourself, you know, um, it's not always easy to choose yourself. When we talk of self-love, listen, if you want to grow in life as a person, if you want to invest in yourself, become the best version of yourself, you have to start from what I call choosing yourself over every other thing. Self-growth, wanting to succeed in your dreams, in your visions, always comes with a sacrifice. But that is what I call stupid sacrifice, okay? And that's what I call intentional and mindful sacrifice. You need to know what you are, you know, willing to sacrifice and why you are doing it. You have to be mindful of the choices and decisions you make that concerns your life. Yes, choose yourself. It's easier said than done. It comes with consequences. Whatever choice you make in this life comes with consequences. So you have to choose your battles wisely. Okay, choose where you want to invest your energy and why you must know have at the back you must have at the back of your mind why you are choosing to invest your energy in something. But one thing is sure until you choose yourself, you will never discover who you truly are. You will never recognize your what your potentials will be dormant, sleeping dormant. You will never maximize your potentials. And you will you will be missing out on God's very best for you. To learn what is important to you, who to bring into your circle. Just as Jesus did from time to time, he isolated himself and, and he doesn't go with all the twelve. He will select the few, the three mostly they are the ones that he allows into his circle you need to learn from that principle you need to learn how to be selective of who you allow into your circle you cultivate that inner circle mindset not everybody that smiles at you loves you and not everybody around you wants to see you succeed and become better than themselves there's always this secret competition going on that secret you know um hatred because first they will want to compete with you and when they see that they are not able then that is when the hatred starts their hatred will start with disrespect some will want to cover your eyes with a veil so that you will never discover who you are because they know that the moment you discover who you are you are going to leave that circle sorry if you hear um, a background noise because today we are having a general meeting. I'm part of the representatives. We're in Venice, but I I just felt this in my spirit, in my heart, and I want to share it with you guys. You know, um, I always share from an inspired thought because I have learned to cultivate that a long time. I am no longer afraid of spending a long time being alone with myself um, just like an ego ego don't flock the few alone so if you want to soar in life and become the best version of you and be everything that god has wired you to be as a woman learn to soar alone learn to fly alone learn to walk alone not everybody that smiles at you loves you not everybody around you that you keep in your circle that you want to accommodate that you want to you know always um you know have around you some don't you know mean well for you be comfortable being alone be comfortable walking alone invest in yourself be mindful of the energy you're throwing out there because what you sow is what you will reap and listen if you don't make plans for your life for yourself three years plans five years plans you cannot hold the clock the years will still come and pass you by and you help yourself to learn. If you are keeping companies with people who are going nowhere, accommodating every kind of small talk, every kind of you know uh, toxic uh, conversations, you know self-sabotaging conversations, be careful because thoughts become things. So today, be mindful of the thoughts you think, thoughts you habitually harbor in your mind, the conversations 
you have with people and the one you have when no one is there with you. Self-growth comes with a lot of sacrifices. It comes with changing perspective. It comes with changing how you think, how you say things. It leads to a shift in mindset and mental set. It leads to a shift in perspective. You must take that leap. No one has ever grown in their comfort zone. Fear your fears, but do it anyway. You have to have the courage to try new paths that you're not familiar with. They will stress you. They will make you to grow. Okay? And God wants the best for you. He wants to see you succeed. Do exploits. But you cannot do exploits when you refuse to recognize the giant in you, you know, the ego in you. When you are busy, too comfortable, flocking with the, with the, with the chickens, instead of aiming high as an ego you are, you are comfortable eating on the grass when you are meant to sit among the kings, making decisions that will affect your life. Remember, whatever we are doing today, we are leaving a legacy to people that will come after us. Ask yourself, what legacy are you leaving? Is it that of self-sabotaging thoughts, conversations, mingling with people that are not adding any value to you? Who will rather drain your energy, feed on your energy like energy vampires that contribute anything meaningful to your personal growth, your personal development, your personal empowerment? People you will not learn anything from. You will not even learn what it means to uh, take care of yourself, you know, self-care, self-love. You are not pouring in, into yourself because you don't know that you, you can pour into yourself, that you can make it a priority to pour into yourself, to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself. And when I mean nurturing yourself, it doesn't mean only your physical self, your emotional self, your mental self, the, your relationship, cultivating a healthy relationship between you and yourself. If you cannot cultivate a healthy relationship between you, you know, if you fail to cultivate a healthy relationship between you and yourself, there's no way you can cultivate a healthy relationship between you and any other person out there, not even between you and God. Because when you fail to recognize your personal need, you will not even notice the presence of the Holy Spirit. You will sabotage that relationship and you end up pointing fingers. You'll be asking why is your life going in circles? Why are you repeating circles? Why are things not moving forward for you? Why are you not happy with your life? Why is your life in a mess? Why are you stuck in one place? Now you know the reason. Learn to invest in yourself. Learn to pour in yourself. Learn to cultivate a self-love mindset. Not show yourself. Do things that will serve your highest you know, uh, purpose. Do things that will enable you to take care of what is important. You know where to invest your energy and resources. When you cut ties, these are some of the sacrifices you have to make if you want to em embark on that journey of self-discovery, self-awareness, self-growth, you know, uh, self-empowerment. Be willing to pay the sacrifice of cutting ties, closing some pages, burning bridges. It doesn't matter who they are. You have to come first. If you don't save yourself, you cannot save any other person out there. If you don't pour into yourself, you will be drained. And once you are drained like a well without water, there's nothing to give out. There's nothing to pour into other people. You can't want, you, you cannot possibly want to fill other people's cup when you are wanting, when your own well is dry. Lisa Nichols, the woman I love so much, she says that before you start to fill other people's cup, make sure that your own is filled to the brim and, over, and overflowing. Because when you want to pour what you don't have, that's a lie. That's a big lie. You are living in deception. You are lying to yourself and you end up being miserable. You end up being depressed. You end up being, you end up having anger issues, being frustrated and you'll be lashing out on people. You know, they say hurt people hurt people. You'll be bleeding on people who never caught you because you fail to first of all, nurture your life. I hope you have learned something from this video and if so i am blessed because that is my purpose that is my satisfaction that is my highest you know uh, joy to be able to add value to someone's life and why not join my soul tribe 
by subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so like and share this video be a blessing to someone else life by sharing the more you share this video the more you help me reach more people i have to leave you now i have to go in because the meeting is going on but i said i want to come out here to share these thoughts you know thoughts as they say if you don't write it down if you don't invest it immediately they will just like air move past you thank you for watching uh, i hope to see you in my next video don't forget to press the notification button below so that when next I upload a new content, you will be the first to be notified. If this video has blessed you, why not leave your feedback in the comment section below. As I said, see you in my next video. Until then, stay blessed. God loves you. I love you. How about you? Do you love yourself? <laughs>